love yourself, don't you? Come talk to me when you sober up. You know, <laughs> everyone laughs at you. Get the baza. Oh, I'm only messing with you. Well, maybe I don't understand the joke. That's enough. But that cowardly killer that shot Mr. Miller has laid old Otis in his grave. Yeah! Hello, Mary Beth. Oh, how are you, Arthur? Fine. How are you? Um, well, I'm well, I think. It's been quite a run we've had, but, but we're still alive. Mm. So, no regrets? Regrets for what? Well, for joining this band of maniacs. <sighs> If you're a girl without means in this world, life is very scary. You boys care for me before no one cared for me. Well, life weren't very nice, Arthur. Not after Mama got typhoid, and that was a long time ago. Sure. What about you? <clears throat> I heard you ran into that Mary girl. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And? Got me thinking how that all ended. Long time ago now. What happened? <laughs> well, she didn't love me enough, I guess. Or I wouldn't change. Huh. Well, she was a fool then, Arthur. Well, she put a lot of good years in on an outlaw. She definitely was a fool. In these books, life seems so simple, but in reality, I, I can't make head nor tail of it. Mr. Morgan! Mr. Morgan, we have a problem. A real problem. It's Tilly. What? She's oh. been taken by them Foreman brothers she used to run with. Come along! The Foreman brothers? What are they doing here? Well, I don't know what they've been doing here, but I can tell you what they're going to be doing here. Dying. Sure. Do we need more guns? You and I can handle this, Arthur. Where are we heading? I'll tell you on the way. Just get going. All right, head for Rhodes, and quick. She's in Rhodes? No, she's at a place called Bradley's house, just west of there. How do you know? When we first got here, she told me she was worried that our camp was near a safe house that gang she ran with used from time to time. And you told Dutch? No, she spoke to me in confidence. I suppose I didn't think it would be a problem. Now it is. Oh, yes. What do they want with her anyway? I think I saw one of the foremans hassling her in Valentine. Yes, they probably followed us down here. You don't know what happened? She killed one of them, for good reason, but clearly they don't see it that way. Tilly? Yes. Young Tilly Jackson isn't as sweet and innocent as you might think. But like I say, she was de... ...defending herself. She fled and fell in with us right after that. I just hope we can get to her in time. It's not too far. If they've touched a single hair on that girl's head, I will eviscerate the sons of bitches. See? You do care, Miss Grimshaw. Of course I care. About all of you fools. Some just require a firmer hand than others. You especially. Well, thank you. I swear, half of you would just rot in your own filth if nobody kept you in check. Okay, I think that's the place up ahead. I think there's a guard. I'll deal with him. Whoa, back. 
and in need of some help. Get out of here. Oh, I see that kindly face of yours, and I know that for the right inducement, a gentleman such as yourself could be mighty kind. Now get out of here. Oh, now you keep saying that. You don't mean nothing by well, I it. I said... You <coughs> said your last words. Well, what are you waiting for? Get in there and find our girl. <coughs> before they put a bullet in her head. Quick, Arthur! They probably heard us. you thought it's okay all right let's go oh come along miss thank you both of you what happened it was anthony foreman he thinks he owns me i remember where is he he went out hunting or something there were five of them i think well we killed those fellas there there they are come on tilly grab that gun anyone approaches shoot them oh don't worry i'll be just fine now catch that <sighs> After them. There, straight ahead. Okay. I saw them go through those bushes. Oh, you're gonna pay! All of you!
Don't kill him yet. I want Tilly to have the last word on this bastard. Come on! Get him, Arthur! Oh, no. Don't let him get away! Yeah! Go on! Rope that bastard! Oh no, you don't. Come here. That's it. Now make sure you tie them. Uh, make these nice and tight. All right. You bring that bastard back to Tilly so we can all have a nice little chat. I'm gonna head over there now to check she's okay. With pleasure. I'll take his horse. Not again. You have the first idea what you're getting Shut in. The hell up. Get off me! You have the first idea what you're getting into. I'm Anthony Foreman. Well, thanks for the introduction, Anthony. Is that Foreman with an A? I want the Undertaker to spell it right. Funny bastard. <laughs> Who are you running with? She didn't tell you? She didn't tell me nothing. Oh, Watch your mouth. Go to hell. She didn't tell me nothing. Oh, oh, coward. All right, all right, damn it. Your man. Bring him here. Dump him on the ground here. We're I want to get a good look at this monster. So he's still alive then? Ah. I guess. You see this girl? You leave her alone. She killed my cousin. Your goddamn cousin had it coming, Anthony Foreman. I don't care if she shot your daddy and cooked your mama for breakfast. She's mine. She ate yours. You know, a friend of mine, he always says, <clears throat> revenge is a fool's game. Now, you want all your boys dead? She had her reasons. We was family, Tilly Jackson. You Foreman boys ain't no kind of family I want. Kill him, Arthur! You want that? I want him to go away and tell the remaining of his cousins and the clowns he rides with to leave me alone! Now, you think you can do that, Anthony? Or should I slit your throat and just save us all the bother? I'll leave you alone. History is done. History is never done. It's your call, Arthur. But I'd slit his throat. Go on. Finish the battle. All right, you. Come on. Let's get you home. Yeah. Now get out of here. 